Hi and welcome back. Today we're going to make an ear cup using a brass stamping. Now I sell these in my Etsy shop and I'll include a link. But if you want to get something similar and don't want to use this specific one, this is one inch square. I have three pieces of chain. I have three and one eighth, four and one eighth, and five and one eighth. I have a head pin, a six millimeter bead, two jump rings, a stud earring finding that has a little loop at the bottom. We also need the earring back, I just didn't happen to bring one. I'm using a little crystal heart, you can use whatever you would like. I have this little plastic or acrylic cabochon. Now believe it or not, I bought these in 2010 and I have never used them. But the shop is still there, so I'll link where you can get these also in the description. I have something to wrap my ear cuff around and this just happens to be the handle of a paintbrush. And if you're not weird like me, and buy those sponge paint brushes just to yank the sponge off and use the handles. This is a half inch wide or a half inch diameter. We need E6000 or some other type of strong glue. I have a round nose plier, a couple of chain nose, and a wire cutter. And I believe that's all you need. So get your supplies together. Okay, to begin this ear cuff, I'm going to lay my brass stamping right on top of this paintbrush handle. And then I'm just going to bend these sides down around the paintbrush. This is to get us started in our shape. Now, grab a hold of our round nose pliers and go ahead and bend these inward. Now, you can completely bend this around if uh, you feel that these, ed these little parts of the ear cuff are too large for you. Now, if you're making it for yourself, go ahead and try it on your ear and get it the way you need it. If you're making it to sell, let's put it on our ear model, and I will link where you can get this in the description. So I'm going to place it on here, and then I'm just going to go ahead and squeeze so that I know I will have something that's the correct shape for me to work with. Okay, let's remove it. And now let's get our E6000. Okay, sorry about that. I always glue my E6000 lid to itself, so I had to get a pair of pliers and open it. Now we're just going to take some of this E6000 and put it on the back of our capuchon. I'm just using another head pin. Just use a piece of wire or whatever it is that you want to to get your glue on there. So you don't really need a ton of it. It's funny how this has strings just like a hot glue gun. And I don't think this center is very attractive, so I'm gonna glue this little floral cabochon right there, the center of our ear cuff. Now we have to wait for this to dry. Okay, the glue on my cap has dried. Now I'm just going to use my head pin and place on my heart and my bead. Now I'm going to make a simple loop here. You could make a wrap loop if you want. So I'm just going to bend that head pin over. 
And now we need to trim off a lot of this. So go ahead and trim that off. So now I'm just going to use my round nose plier to make a loop out of this piece that we just cut our head pin. So I'm going to leave that open for now. Now I may need to go off camera for this because this is very fine chain and the jump rings that I'm using are really too big for this project. But I don't have a lot of gold stuff. So we're going to take one of our jump rings and open it up. And now what we're going to do is place all of our chains, one end of all of our chains, onto this jump ring. And I'm going to start with the largest. If I struggle too bad, I will just go off camera and do it. And I'm going to put the largest, then the next to the largest, and then the smallest onto this jump ring. Okay, yeah. I will do that and be right back. Alright, I have all of my chains onto my jump ring. Now, if you're using the same brass stamping you will see that there's two openings here at the bottom and I'm going to put this jump ring on the opening that will be furthest away from the ear so let's go ahead and do that make sure that the long chain is on the outside. Now all we need to do is just feed it right through there and then close up our jump ring. Okay. Now using your other jump ring, let's open this up and let's put all the other ends of this chain onto this jump ring. Okay, I have all of these chains on this other jump ring. So now what I'm going to do is add my earring finding. And let's close that up. Now I originally left this loop open because I wanted to put it on the loop that's on our uh, earring finding and I did that and didn't like it so I am just going to put this on the jump ring instead which of course if I knew I was going to do that I could just slide it in there when I was finished putting the chains on okay I guess it's not open enough and close this back up. And we're done. Now, of course, you will put the back on the earring where it should be. And I haven't done my final tightening. get the idea. Okay, now here is my original design. And most of you probably know I like to mix my metals. So on my chains, on my original one, I have an antique copper, a gun metal, 
and a gold. And I used gunmetal jump rings. And for this section, I used an 8mm pearl instead of a 6. I made a head pin with some 22 gauge silver wire. And I put this on a 3 quarter inch chain and then put the chain on the jump ring. And there's a different variation of the same ear cuff. Well, I hope you enjoyed this and thank you so much for watching.